to do it. My hair makes me My hero, good lord. We are going to be getting some fire episodes all season. I feel like if they keep this up. And I'm definitely curious in all the new characters. Especially ones that can push our classmates to their our fullest potential. Seeing the Dark Fallen Angel was probably one of the sickest things that kind of came out of this. And having more information on Hawk and why he chose um, our Dark Shadow Bird as the person that he wanted on his side. Even though he handles things very, very differently than every other hero by jumping ahead of everyone, taking down the people that he needs to, carrying them off, and then really just not doing the paperwork. So... It's a, hmm, how do you say it? It's not really shocking to see that no one can keep up with him. I mean, the only person that, you know, kept up with him supposedly was Endeavor. And Endeavor wasn't doing nearly as much stuff as Hawk was doing in that fight. Where Hawk was protecting every single person in the vicinity. Endeavor just had to worry about the fight. He just had to focus on taking out who he needed to in front of him while Hawk is literally grabbing and saving as many people as humanly possible and actually showing up to try to rescue him towards the very end after Endeavor has won his first fight. The second fight was about to begin and Hawk was the only one standing to even try to fight back until other people showed up. But yeah, it just goes to show you how crazy talented Hawk is above the others, especially the people that work with him, who just end up doing paperwork or taking care of the villains that he's already captured that need to be taken care of in general. So I like that aspect of him actually uh, carrying himself that way because he knows how good and brave he actually is compared to people who have to be uh, prepared, brave and all that stuff. He already holds himself to that standard, and that's just how he comes off at all times. Is that he's aware and prepared for whatever is about to occur. The only problem about this is, you don't know whose side Hawk is truly playing on. Once you become a double agent, everything gets very, very gray for your character. Do you start believing what the villains are selling? Do you continue to believe what the heroes have been selling you? Like, where do you go? It's really on the author at that point, in my opinion. But nonetheless, I don't think Hawk would go down the straight path. And if he does, I feel like it's another kind of calling sign of other heroes doing it. And I think Bakugo, the shadow guy who we see fighting, like going into shadows and swimming around. And the guy who can mimic all seem like pretty liable candidates to be villains just because their abilities would be pretty broken if they were on the opposite spectrum but regardless i am super happy with what we're getting with these battles and i look forward to more my hero team up battles overall because this week is just getting started and they're going to show us just exactly what this mushroom girl can do and what other members of team b can actually do so with that being said, I'll talk to you on the next one. Thank you for your support. And peace.